Okay, welcome back. Uh, you were supposed to translate this phrase. This phrase is the quotient, which the quotient right away should tell us that this is a uh, division problem, right? We're going to be using a fraction bar. The quotient when the quantity 10 plus a number x, so there's, a, uh, there's something, 10 plus a number x is divided by 2. Okay, so the quotient, this is, a, this is a division problem. When we take 10 plus the number x, 10 plus the number x is divided by 2. Notice that this fraction bar goes all the way across the 10 and the x, because it tells me that I have to do 10 plus x first, and then divide that, what I get, by 2. So 10 plus x over 2. All right, if you had a hard time with that one, something's not coming out right again, make sure you uh, do not stay silent, right? You take your education into your hands and ask a question. Make sure you understand what's going on. Uh, let's move on to the next set here, uh, and that is a verbal model. And what we mean by a verbal model is, a ver bleh, verbal model is uh, that we are going to describe a situation using words as labels, and then later we can replace those words with numbers, numbers and variables uh, to create the model or an expression for whatever this real world situation is. Um, the fact that this is called a verbal model is not important. The important part is that we recognize that um, we can kind of take some steps in between a written out situation and an equation. So let's look at an example of that. Uh, you work with five other people at an ice cream parlor uh, or an ice cream stand sorry all of the workers put their tips into a jar and share the amount in the jar equally at the end of the day uh, write an expression for each person's share in dollars of the tips so let's let's write a verbal model for this uh, what what kind of th we're talking here about um, the amount of money in the jar, right? And it's being shared equally with the amount of people. So a verbal model for this would be amount in jar. And then if we're sharing it equally, we need to be using a division symbol with number of people because if I have five people and I have $20 in the, in the jar, I'm taking 20 divided by the number of people. So in this particular case, we can then replace the information that we know. Uh, do we know the amount in the jar? No. We just know that there's some amount in a jar, which is going to be A. Uh, and then the number of people. Well, we do know the number of people. It's five. So we can replace that with five. And then we can just call this A over five. Somebody really needs a custodian. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but you probably could. I should just like cut that out, but I'm, I just don't want to. Okay. So uh, here we have the amount in the jar, which we called A because we didn't know that number. The number of people, uh, which is 5, and so it's A divided by 5, uh, would be that expression uh, written out. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's going to be the end of this video. I've got one more part. I'm going to stop it right here. Uh, I don't have a practice problem for this one. <clears throat> but uh, there we will kind of combine a verbal model with this next thing that we're going to do in the following video. So uh, we will see you in just a moment in the next video.